Monica! Yeah. And we are here with the cast of Ghosts, and I think this is so exciting because we're going into season two, but this is also the return of Comic-Con. It has been over a thousand days since last Comic-Con, yeah. wow. and here we are talking about season two. What is it like to just be here and get the energy from the fans, especially since they've seen season one? You've been counting down every single day since the last Comic-Con, right? Yeah, I just went to Montreal Comic Con, which was phenomenal, but nothing, a pittance, no offense, Montreal, <laughs> compared to the International Comic Con here in San Diego. You have, like, all the best artists come through. We just met uh, Hannah Mae Rose, and we just got a signed copy of her new book, Rogues Gallery. Um, David Finch is here. There's How many collectibles did you get? I got four yesterday, but I'm going to, as soon as we're done here, I'm out, and I'm going to hit the floor with my family and do some shopping. If we were energy vampires, our bellies would be full because there <laughs> is a lot of love around here. Yeah, also like 4,000 plus people. From people. Yes. So many people showed up for our panel, which was phenomenal. Amazing. So it's just great. We've been in a vacuum um, yeah. during the pandemic. So to see how many people connect with the show and wanted to come support us is just, it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Anyone else uh, want to chime in on that? What's it feel like? Oh, <laughs> I hate this. No, it was really cool at the panel. Like, we, I, I don't think any of us knew exactly what to expect uh, coming into the panel. And as we were announced, to see, you know, 4,000 plus faces standing back at us was awesome. So uh, when they said it was ghosts, uh, probably about a quarter of them got up and left because I think they thought it was a different panel. They thought it was actually yeah. Ghost, the movie. And they, were, they, they heard that Patrick Swayze was coming back to life. <laughs> And then they were bitterly disappointed. But Demi Moore was there, weirdly, at our panel. Front row. She was like, oh, my God, so happy. St. Elmo's Fire uh, Part 2 is coming out, and I uh, just want to drop that as a spoiler. Anyways, um, what do we got? We're trying to, we're trying to uh, attract Ruby Goldberg to the show. Yes. yes. That oh, is that, who, is that who we're manifesting? Yeah, but we yeah. play hard to get by attracting her. So, Whoopi, we don't know if we want you, but... Yeah, Whoopi, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Whoopi, we want you. You know, Whoopi, maybe not come on the show. Maybe Whoopi, just please don't ever listen to Richie Moriarty. We give a shit. We love you so much. You're iconic. You are black history and black future and we love you, Whoopi. How about that? I mean, Whoopi does have a pretty key character in a ghost movie that maybe could be reprised. I'm just spitballing here, but you have more questions. I, just, I love that this is just the Whoopi Goldberg interview. Yeah. <laughs> we now, <gotta> promote her. <laughs> now, there was a blooper reel revealed today, which begs the question, who actually did break the most on set? Sure. Me, <laughs> yeah, no, it's me, for sure. I mean, these people are hilarious, and and uh, this is actually the first time I've never done a comedy before this, so I've you know this is a whole new terrain, and and each of these people are have incredible timing and sensibilities, and and it's so much fun. That surprised me. You're hilarious on the show. Exactly. Thank you, <laughs> really but is. yeah, it's new new terrain for me. It takes a lot of takes though to get him there. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. The, the stuff you see is 35 takes. Deep, oh yeah, because uh, because we have time for 35 takes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm like. How on earth do you do those scenes with the ghosts, pretending you cannot see them? Because like on set, I would be dying. I mean, I, I well, do. Well, you're an actor, but like... No, but I mean, there are plenty of takes that I ruin uh, because of how much I enjoy what everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. And then we have great editors. Our director sets us up to succeed. And, and then I always get a take when the ghosts aren't there. So there's no chance for me to really mess up those ones, which is good. But you you're still right. do find a way to mess them up anyways. Um, moving as, on. As, <laughs> yeah. as many uh, mistakes as I can make... Yes! <laughs> This is our final uh, interview today. We're not. Yes. No, we Let for sure have here. one more. <laughs> we have not drinking any coffee. Haven't had any, no coffee we have not drinking any coffee. Let's get coffee. weird. We are so weird. We're so here for you, Ash. What is next? Okay, so season one, you know, you're kind of getting the foundation. You're exploring the show. What is season two? What do you feel like you've been allowed to expand on or you're excited for fans to see in season two? I think Rebecca can answer this best. You're really good at explaining this stuff. Oh, no. Oh boy, what can we expect from season two? Mm -hmm. um, oh god, I really am drawing a blank. Richard, do you want to take it? Sure, yeah. sure. First of all, we were four episodes deep in yeah. uh, in season two so far, and we've read a couple more scripts. But like, there, we're doing twenty two episodes this year, so there's going to be a lot of new stuff. But we have we have an incredible uh, Alberta flashback very mm -hmm. early on in season two, which is going to be super exciting to see her like doing her uh, jazz singer thing. So that's going to be super fun. Uh, we also have like incredible. Jazz singer thing. <laughs> 
it's year a kind of the episode. <laughs> it has signature. Yeah, I mean, if it's not, it should be. Um, and we have incredible guest stars so far. Like even four episodes in, we have amazing people. Is there is there anyone that you can We're reveal that? <laughs> you know what? I, no, not yet. No, no, no. What I will yeah, say, no, I'm most yeah, excited yeah. about is um, the the way in Michael Phelps. <laughs> With all seven gold medals around his neck. <laughs> I was going to say, what I'm excited <laughs> about <laughs> is having um, different like pairings of the ghosts together. Like We often in season one see everybody all together all the time. And I think we've discovered the strength in pairing like two or three different ghosts together in livings and, um, and the different dynamics that come up. And it's like in a family when you're with your one weird uncle and your funny aunt and, you know, it's like you're a different person to when you're with your grandma and your niece or something. So I like, I like that feeling. And we I <laughs> have so many different condiments, you know, and it's like, we got a lot of peanut butter and jelly, but sometimes uh -oh. like what's mayonnaise and mustard taste like together? Pretty good probably, but what about mayonnaise and maybe marmalade? And that's what they've been doing with our little flavors here. There's a lot of mayo and marmalade. <laughs> yeah, we're exploring. Yeah, there's a lot of good tastes around here. We taste pretty good. I've been getting a lot of scenes with good. Sheila, which I've never really got a lot in season one. And she's like one of the best character actors I've ever met in my life. Yes, she is. So like working with her is such a dream and being in scenes with her, I'm always breaking. She's fantastic. Oh, my God. Very I nice. love it. <laughs> oh. Um, no, I nice. just, that's very that's nice. Right. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do three more and the feeling is more than mutual. I'm obsessed with you. Thank you. <laughs> if you, I'm sure that you guys get this question all the time, but if you were a ghost, what's the first thing you would do? Whoa. <sighs> we haven't had that specifically. We've yeah. actually never had that. To be honest, I would haunt all of my exes. Yes. I would haunt yes. them, oh, but I would do like really stupid stuff. Like I would take like the shoelaces out of their shoes. I would take like their laptop so they couldn't use anything. Like I would just do something really petty. Pillows <laughs> under the bed, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You're a really powerful ghost that can touch all I'll be a petty ghost. I'll be the petty ghost. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like in Scary Movie 3 when he's talking about the ring girl? She's like, you should just hide the remote. Really sick shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else know what I they would I would just do? try to talk to animals. Yeah, uh, you know, I'd see if I could communicate if they could see me, um, because I can't do that in my real life. Maybe you can in, in the next life. And one thing that's awesome that we did discover about the ghosts is that sometimes children can connect with them. We did learn that in season one, and um, that would be pretty cool when kids still have this imagination and this openness that um, that maybe yeah because you could. So really I was gonna say normally terrifying, but yeah. wholesome. Yeah. I was really thinking bad, deeply but, uh, wholesome. We're willing to so, take a risk on this one. Rose wants oh, to haunt kids, yeah. is what she's saying. She, Rose wants to haunt. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your con, and thank yeah. you. I'm so excited. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.